Hi class 10 students, welcome back. So this is our lecture number 8 of the chapter Life Process. A pumping organ is needed to push the blood around the body. This pumping organ is heart. Now heart is the involuntary pump. So involuntary means without our will, which is not in our hands. Now see, uh, to push the blood in our body, our body needs a pumping organ. And that pumping organ is our heart. Now we will see the human heart. It is a muscular organ. Now the size of the human heart is the size of the human fist. Can you see it here? Alright. Now the human heart is covered by pericardial membrane. So see here our heart it is covered by pericardial membrane. So peri means outer and membrane means covering. And cardial means heart. Yes. So pericardial means outer covering of heart. Alright, now the weight of the heart is about 360 gram. So the weight is 360 gram. Internal, the heart is divided into right and left sides. So it has got four chambers, two upper and two lower. So the two upper chambers are called atria or the atrium in singular form. And two lower uh, chambers are called the ventricles or the ventricle. Okay, now this is the right side of the heart and this is the left side of the heart. Now see this is the right atrium, the right ventricle, the left atrium and the left ventricle. Clear? Now see here between the atria and the ventricles there is an opening. So there is an opening between the atria and the ventricles. Can you see it here? So this opening is guarded by a valve. So the opening it is guarded by a valve. Alright, now let us see what is the role of these valves. So the valves prevent the backflow of blood, that is, they allow the blood to flow only in one direction, from atria to the ventricles. Now see here, the valves, uh, it prevents the blood uh, to flow in the backward direction. That is, it only allows the blood to flow only in one direction, that is, from atria to the ventricles. Alright. The right side of the heart always deals with deoxygenated blood. As I already explained you in uh, the earlier of this lecture that we have got two vena covers and the deoxygenated blood enters uh, into the right atrium through the two vena covers. So the deoxygenated blood it enters into the right atrium. Now see here the right side of the heart it always deals with the deoxygenated blood. And the left side of the heart always deals with oxygenated blood. Okay guys, now see here, this is our heart where this portion is your right atrium. A big vein enters the right atrium from upper part of the body. Can you see it here? A big vein which enters the right atrium from the upper part of the body. And this is called the superior vena cava. As I already explained you earlier that we have got two vena cavas. So one of them is this, superior vena cava. Another one see, a big vein enters the right atrium from lower part of the body. Can you see it here? Another big vein which enters the right atrium from the lower part of the body. And this is called the inferior vena cava. So these are the two vena cavas, the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. And this chamber is your right ventricle. An artery leaves the right ventricle and divides into two branches. One branch enters the right lung and the other branch enters the left lung. So here an artery, it leaves the right ventricle uh, and divides into two branches. Can you see here? These are the two branches. Here the one branch enters the right lung and the other branch enters the left lung. And this is called the pulmonary artery. Now see here this uh, chamber is called the left atrium, where the four veins enter the left atrium. Can you see here? These are the four veins which enters into the left atrium. Two from the right lung, these two from the right lung and then these two from the left lung. These are the called the pulmonary veins. Clear? Now this chamber is the left ventricle. The largest artery of the body leaves the left ventricle. Now the largest artery of the body, this one, which leaves the left ventricle and this is called the iota. Clear everyone? This is called iota. Just make a note, uh, you might be asked like what is the largest artery of the body? So answer is iota. Iota is the largest artery of the body which leaves the left ventricle. Clear everyone? Now let us study the working of the heart. Imagine this is a heart. 
So consider the heart has four parts and this part is your right atrium, the right ventricle, the left atrium and the left ventricle. Now see the deoxygenated blood from the body is brought into the right atrium by both the vena cava. Okay, now here see uh, these are the two vena covers which are connected to the right atrium of the heart. Now the deoxygenated blood from the body it is brought into the right atrium through these two vena covers. Okay, then the blood from the right atrium it passes into the right ventricle through the valve. Now see here valve is present between here uh, this right atrium and the right ventricle where the deoxygenated blood from the right atrium it passes into the right ventricle through the valve okay then uh, from the right from the right ventricle the deoxygenated blood is carried to the lungs for oxygenation by the pulmonary artery now see here since these are the deoxygenated blood uh, in the right ventricle so it is carried to the lungs for oxygenation and it is carried by the pulmonary artery now see here, this pulmonary artery, it carries the deoxygenated blood from the right ventricle to the lungs for oxygenation. Clear everyone? Alright, now the oxygenated blood from the lungs is brought into the left atrium by the pulmonary veins. Okay, then see here in the lungs, the oxygenated blood from the lungs, it is brought into the left atrium by the pulmonary veins. So here the pulmonary veins, they carry the oxygenated blood from the lungs to the right, to the, sorry, to the left atrium. Then see, from the left atrium, uh, the oxygenated blood passes into the left ventricle through the valve. Now here, the oxygenated blood is passes into the left ventricle through valve, and valve is present here. Okay, then see here, uh, from the left ventricle, the oxygenated blood is supplied to all the parts of the body through the iota then from the left ventricle the blood is oxygenated now right so now it is uh, supplied to all the parts of the body and it is done through iota so this is your iota okay guys now see here in one cycle the blood passes through the heart twice therefore the circulation in human beings is known as double circulation uh, so it is called double circulation because uh, in one cycle the blood passes through the heart two times therefore it is called double circulation now see the vertical section of human heart this one is the superior vena cava which enters from the upper body to the right atrium and this one is the inferior vena cava which enters from the lower body to the right atrium this number is your right ventricle which has got two branches uh, one branch is to the left lung and the other one is to the uh, right lung so it is called the pulmonary artery now this number is your left atrium so left atrium has got four pulmonary veins these two to the right lung and these two are to the left lung clear now this number is the left ventricle which is connected to this iota and this iota supplies the oxygenated blood to all the body parts I hope everyone is clear 